Hey there, uh, welcome to another Final Cut video. I've noticed uh, a lot of new subscribers on board, and uh, thank you for watching. I, I really didn't expect sort of more than 10 people on this channel, so I don't know what to make of that, but uh, I mean, I'm surprised that there's so many of you, because look, I'm still going to be half assed on this channel, no, ma no matter how many of you that there are, I'm, I'm not going to treat this any more professionally. So um, as long as you know that, hang aboard, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll keep going with this. Uh, today's question has been posed to me by uh, Bravoins, or Bravo Inners, I can't really pronounce your name. I'll just call you Bravo. And uh, he or she, I didn't bother to check the gender, uh, has asked me the question, how do I apply two different effects to the same clip? So we're going to be answering that today, as well as something really cool that's related to that, that I thought I might share with you, um, if you stay tuned to the end. Anyway, this is just some, some rough footage of Brisbane and the, f the 4X beer factory that I was at earlier today, and I'll just use that for the hell of it. Okay, we'll focus on this one clip here of Brisbane, and um, I want you to just click your razor blade tool and cut this up wherever you'd like to split that into the two parts. And uh, for the per first part of the clip, just make sure you select it there. And we'll go up to the effects menu here, video filters, and just select, I don't know, whatever you want, solarize. And uh, you can double click that again and go to your filters tab here and, and muck with the amount of solarization that you like or, or whatever you want in there. Um, parameters you can mess with that as you will uh, and there you go that's done and, and you'll just go do the same to the next one click on the next half of the clip go to effects and whatever other effect that you want the other half to be and this obviously makes no sense but this is just an example um, I don't know just choose anything sepia and that half is sepia whatever um, so we've got two two different effects on the same clip, uh, and we'll just we'll go to sequence and render all to render that, and we'll just fast forward to the future as we've done a few times in these videos. Whoosh. Here we are in the near future where I've rendered this, and you know you can just hit play there and you'll see that it crosses into the effect like that. I don't know what you're going for, but you could add, like, you could control click this and add a cross dissolve. And uh, maybe, you know, bring your effect, your alternate effect in more gradually. I'm not I'm not really sure. Um, but you can play with it. This is the how, not the uh, creative element. So you can, you can muck with that in your own time. You can see that's a bit more gradual. It's a bit better. Um, yeah, dropping frames because I'm trying to capture this all, obviously, that won't happen to you, don't worry about that. Um, as an added thing that uh, you'll have here, as a little bonus that I'm going to throw in, is another really cool tip, and I really like this about Final Cut, because say you've gone in, you've added your effect, and you, you could have spent ages adjusting parameters and doing keyframing this whole thing, putting keyframes in and, and whatnot, and you, you want to apply that same, all of these same things, or some of them, um, to another clip, say this new clip of the, the brewery here. So we want this kind of, say we want this solarization effect, exactly how we set it, um, but we want that on here. And this took us a while to kind of muck about with keyframing and we've done you know we've done all all of our kind of fancy stuff on this clip rather than go and repeat all that we want to just copy all that to this clip as well um, how we do that is really quite easy and it's one of my favorite features in Final Cut actually because I, I use this a heck of a lot it saves me a lot of time we select the clip that we want all the um, data from and go to edit here and just just hit copy there copy and select the the one we want to paste it to and go back to edit and go paste attributes and then we'll get this little screen here and we, we, we don't really want the to scale attribute times because it's going to make the clips the same time we might want to do that but I don't usually do that so we we, we deselect that and w there's a whole lot of things like content and and the audio stuff that we can we can you know paste the attributes to those as well but for now I just want the filters 
I want the same filters on this other clip. So I'm just going to click OK. And that's applied all of these filters straight away in the exact copy of the way that they were on this original clip to any other clips that I like. So any other clip I will just select and hit edit, paste attributes in the same way, and that will apply the same effects over to other clips. And then of course we just render that and we're, we're solid, we're done. Um, so that's very, very handy. So hopefully you've understood what I've said with that. Uh, that's a really cool little thing, time saver. Because <laughs> I can't count the amount of times I've seen people just redo their, their clips and their the exact effects and try and match them up and all sorts of silliness I've seen going on um, because people don't know about that paste attributes. So hopefully someone has, has gleaned something from this video to that regard. Anyway, um, I'll see you on the next one of these and uh, take care of yourselves. See you later.